Welcome, today we'll be going over 5 stocks which are trading near their 52 week lows in October 2024. And before we jump right into the video, I do have to say that this was a tough video to make since there aren't many companies that are currently trading near their 52 week lows. Starting with number 1 which is Evolution Gaming, ticker symbol EVO. Of course, this is in the gaming industry and its stock is down around 7% for the past year. When we look at its price to earnings ratio and its price to cash flow ratio, we can see that in quarter 2 2024, these are actually lower than they have been for the past 4 quarters, trading at a 16 times price to cash flow ratio and a bit higher price to earnings ratio. Now this company has a very juicy dividend, a 3.05% dividend yield, which has been growing at a 41% 3 year dividend CAGR, which is impressive and there are not many companies which are growing their dividend as fast as Evolution Gaming. Now this is because their total revenue, their gross profit and their net income has actually been increasing every single quarter. Well, almost every single quarter. Because although their total revenue has actually been growing quite nicely, we can see that their margins have deteriorated starting 2024. Their net margin has decreased but it is still at a pretty high 53% which is incredible for any type of company. Now what actually made me fall in love with this company is their cash flow evolution. As we can see their free cash flow is extremely predictable, extremely consistent and it keeps coming in at very high values every single quarter. And finally their leverage evolution looks great as their total assets are way above their total liabilities and they do not seem to have any short term risk in this asset. Now I like this company so much that I'll actually be conducting further due diligence on it to see if I add it to my portfolio. Now moving on to stock number 2 we have MongoDB which is in the information technology industry. Now this company has been hurt as it is currently down over 21% for the past year and as we can see although it does not have any price to earnings ratio because it is not profitable yet, we can see that its price to cash flow ratio has decreased substantially from its highs of almost 300 times in quarter 3 2023 to reaching around 140 times in quarter 2 2024. Now don't get me wrong, I know this company trades at incredibly high multiples. Of course this is due to the fact that this is a very high growing company and the moment that they get profitable it has a very clear route of margin expansion and improving their profitability. Now this company doesn't pay any dividends, of course it reinvests everything back into the business. And if we look at this, their total revenue and their gross profit have been growing nicely every single quarter. And although their net income is actually negative, it is nothing too worrying. Now I'm not a fan of investing in companies which aren't profitable yet, but this company seems to have a bright future ahead of it. What I like about it, it's its solid free cash flow evolution. Now in quarter 2 2024 I was a bit disappointed because the 3 quarters prior to that were very predictable with very sustainable growth. Their leverage evolution is actually also pretty solid as their assets have always been above their total liabilities for a very long time. Next we have one of YouTube's favorites which is Qualys stock, ticker symbol QLYS, of course this is in the cybersecurity industry and its stock is down over 15% in the past year and down even further from its $205 mark which it reached in December 2023. Now if we look at their multiples we can see that currently it is trading at a P ratio of around 30 times with a price to cash flow ratio closing in on 20 times. Now this company doesn't pay any dividends either, it prefers to reinvest it all back into the business. And this company has also been growing its total revenue every single quarter. And the positive thing about Qualys is that its margins have been extremely stable for the past 4 quarters, which is something really good. Because for companies that have beaten down stocks, usually the narrative goes the other way where their total revenue is decreasing or their margins are actually decreasing at a faster pace. Now when we look at their cash flow evolution we can see that this company actually does provide extremely consistent free cash flow which I am a fan of. Of course they could level it out throughout the quarters but I believe that this is very good especially for a company which has high growth potential. And regarding its leverage evolution, its total assets are way above its total liabilities which is very solid for this company. Now stock number 4 we have Zscaler which is another cybersecurity company. Now this one goes a bit different because its stock price has actually increased by 13% in the past year. However the stock price has almost lost half of its value from its highs in February 2024. This company is also not profitable so it doesn't have a price to earnings ratio. However we can look at its price to cash flow ratio which is currently trading at around 33 times. Now this looks like a solid spot for the company, it's around the average where it has been trading for the past 4 quarters. And again this company pays no dividends. Now when we look at their revenues this company is growing at a very fast pace and its gross profits are increasing as well. With this company being very close to profitability almost every single quarter. 
Of course, this is a good sign because they're not burning as much cash as they would if they had huge losses, but they still need to expand their margins. Although I do understand that this company is focusing now on increasing their revenues and attracting more clients, and later on they will focus on improving their margins. Now this is another great company as their free cash flows are very consistent and they have been growing in the past three quarters. And adding to this, their total assets are above their total liabilities, which also plays in the advantage for Zscaler. This looks like a solid company. And now, last but not least, we have D-Local, which is in the financial services industry. Now this stock is almost down by 60% in the past year, and as we can see their valuation ratios are currently trading at a 32 times PU ratio. Now this company also does not pay dividends, but this company has been a monster growth company for the past years. Now, it hasn't started 2024 on the right foot, as its total revenues actually decreased by a little bit on the first quarter. Now its gross profit and its net income also decreased. The one thing that is actually worrying about this company and why I believe the stock is going down by so much is not because of the total revenue. Well, that could play a part. But if I was an investor on this company, I would be most worried about the fact that their margins have been decreasing every single quarter for the past four quarters. I will have to look into their annual report and look into this before actually deciding whether this is a good investment or not. But their free cash flow evolution seems pretty solid. It is above their net income for every single quarter, and it has not been decreasing as its net income. But now, of course, their total assets are above their total liabilities, which makes this company be at least safe on this aspect. So I do see this one as a higher risk, higher reward play. And before we move on, please remember, I'm not a financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence on these companies. And as always, thank you for watching. This has been the Cashflow Compounder. Join the free Patreon for extra content, and there is a link in bio for a free stock if you join Trade Republic.